you know, what happened? We had undocumented student papers, a transcript, and had their narrative complete. Um, when Mirka, the other PIs, began to work with that data, they began to ask questions about this data, this noise, and this process that became much more than the transcript in and of itself. And one of the things, as we reflected upon, we began to question um, the issues with the ethic. Uh, is, it, is it ethical to um, move beyond the data that was connected? Meaning, is it ethical to, uh, uh, to manipulate the data in a way that transmogrifies the existence of that data into something else much more than what it was, right? And so here you see that we have this narrative, it was transcribed, it was about undocumented students' experiences. And then on the other hand, we totally flipped the script and came up with something totally different. We came up with noise and that process of noise being present within data. Now, many scholars might find this to be quite disturbing or unethical to even, uh, you know, to manipulate the data in such a way. But when we think about methodology, when we think about um, advancing methodologies, these are things that uh, researchers and methodologists think about. How do we move beyond just reading and, and regurgitating what's on paper. Can there be much more? Um, and so if I offered a critique about uh, this particular process of this particular paper, one of the things that I challenge is, was this really ethical? And, and who defines and creates ethics, right? Um, are we doing an injustice by not uh, focusing on the experiences of the undocumented? Or are we doing uh, and have justice to future methodologists who want to engage in their data beyond just the words that are present on a piece of paper. Um, so that is my critique. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it.